Coco Golf versus Ange Jabeur is the second quarter final for the French Open of 2024. And both players have had similar roads to get to this stage. Jabeur entered the tournament as the number eight seed and will take on Vickery, the wild card in the first round. This was no problem getting through in straights. 6 3 6 2. In the second round, she take on Osorio. And this was a battle. After dropping the second set, Jabeur would fight back to win. 6 3 1 6 6 3. In the third round, she take on the 31st seed, Fernandez, who she'd never lost to, but had close encounters with in the past. And this was no different. After winning the first set, she had to fight to win the second. 6 4 7 6 to get through in straights. In the fourth round, she'd take on Towson, who'd taken out Ostapenko and Kennan along the way. And after a little struggle, Jabeur got through in straights, 6 4 6 4, to advance to the quarterfinals. Goff entered the tournament as the number three seed, and would take on the qualifier Avdiva in the first round. But this was no problem getting through in straights, 6 1 6 1. In the second round, she'd take on another qualifier, Zedenshek. But again, no problem getting through in straights, 6 3 6 4. In the third round, she'd take on Yastremska, the 30th seed. And this was ugly, with Goff getting through, even though she hit a lot of errors, 6 2 6 4, in straight sets. In the fourth round, she'd take on Cochiaretto, who had taken out Hadaj Maya last last year's semi-finalists along the way. And again, no problem for Goff getting through in straights. 6-1-6-2 to advance to the quarterfinals. These were played six times before with Goff leading 4-2 in the head-to-head, -head, including winning their last match at the WTA Finals last year, 6-love-6-1. Six six She's also won their previous play court meeting back at the French Open three years ago in straight sets too. So Jabeur's going to have to do something real special if she's going to get over Goff in this one. But Jabeur's going to win this one. She's going to bring that variety and slice Goff around, try and use the drop shot as well and be unpredictable to Goff. Goff's been really good at times this week. She's also been really bad at times this week. Her serving, of course, has those woes. So, so Jabeur's got to make sure that she does take advantage of that as well if she gets a chance. Goff's going to win this one. She needs to serve well. We know the serve lets her down and she's been serving okay this week. I mean, the match against Yastrzemska was a little bit weird, but other than that, she's been really, really good. So she needs to serve well against Ons and also be more aggressive and push Ons around. Great matchup. What a great match. Love this one. In the quarterfinals, it feels like a real quarterfinal, but I could have go with Jabeur in this one. I just think the head-to-head, -head, even though it's 4-2 Goff, I'm just going to go with Ons because of the slicing and dicing. I reckon she might just frustrate Goff into some errors and she might get the win, but let me know in the comments below who's making the semis.